Shiva Shah is a representative of Outlaw and has been, the, has been active in the community since joining Queers Thoughtfully Interrupting Prejudice in undergrad in 2007. She would like to use her legal education and intersect advocating for LGBT com LGBTQ community with the criminal justice system and hopes to do policy work sometime in the future. Giving her speech, the future of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer movement, please welcome Shiva Shah. All right. Well, I'm going to be using the acronym just to make things easier. So that's LGBTQ. Um, I'm here to tell you that the lesbian or the LGBTQ rights movement isn't over. Yes, last year we did uh, DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act was struck down. The Prop 8 appeal was dismissed, allowing gay marriage in California. And so far, 19 countries do recognize same-sex marriage, and this is around the world. However, there is still 83 countries where homosexuality is illegal. Some of these countries allow homosexuals to be put into prison. This is life in prison, even. Some of them give the death penalty just for same-sex relationships. Worldwide, we are not equal yet. And right now, even now, we are not equal in the US. Currently, only 17 states and Washington, DC allow same-sex marriage. I'm gonna give you some statistics from the National Transgender Discrimination Survey. This was done in 2011, and this was out of 6,456 valid responses. 35% of these respondents who served time in jail reported to be harassed by other inmates. 37 of these respondents reported that they had been harassed by correctional officers or staff. These are government officials. 19% of respondents were denied home or apartments and 11% were evicted for being gender non-conforming. 19% of these respondents became homeless or had been homeless at some point in their life because they were gender non-conforming. It is well known that the LGBTQ community suffers from high rates of depression. Why? Because we face a dual stigma. It's not just about our identities as LGBT individuals, but as how it intersects with our identities as being South Asian, multiracial, the families we grew up in. A lot of the time, the family support that we rely on is not there. There is there's violence, there's a higher rate of violence against LGBT individuals. And because, because it is so frowned upon to be in a same-sex relationship, there's a lot of internalized homophobia that individuals have that they must struggle with. Further, it, it isn't just about depression. It isn't just about what's going on in our personal life. It's about the legal community, too. Currently, the Ninth Circuit, this includes California, has put a hold on banning of se same-sex orientation therapy. This is therapy where individuals go to get counseling in order to change their orientation. This is something that isn't, that isn't proven. There's no proven data on this. We struggle with, with our reproductive rights. Currently in Kansas, 
there's a lesbian couple struggling with with their reproductive rights where their where a sperm donor has been told by the courts that he must that he must support uh, register as the child's father and give child support even though the couple don't want it. Currently, we are still trying to pass the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, and while it is, it is promising at this stage in the Senate, it hasn't passed yet. We don't have those protections for transgender individuals. We don't have those re protections everywhere for same-sex individuals. Currently, in terms of gender nonconforming and transgender individuals, there's only 21 states that have rights for transgender employees. So I know that's very negative. It's very depressing. Um, but there is, you know, a silver lining. So I'll end it, I'll end this on a good note. We have had Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which was a policy in the military banning coming out in the military. This was repealed in 2008. So currently, you can identify as gay openly in the military. As I said before, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, which includes protections for gender non-conforming individuals as well as same-sex couples on the federal sco scope, is being taken seriously on the Senate, and it seems the most it seems most promising to be fa to be passed this year. Further, same-sex marriage and same-sex rights are spreading around the world as this issue, this issue is being known and people are stepping up, showing that, look, we are just a part of the community. Everybody else, we have the same lives, we hold the same jobs. Currently, Chile, Chile is currently passing a transgender rights bill, which allows transgender individuals to receive counseling, health care services, as a part of their insurance plan. So while there is while there is progress happening, I urge you to not forget that there is a bigger picture than just same-sex marriage. We still need advancement for multiple rights, for transgender rights, for reproductive rights to to lessen the stigmatization of mental health so that we too can show you that we're just like everybody else. Thank you.